well, it goes without saying right now are very trying times and coping with the reality of the situation can be a little bit difficult. Certainly, it is challenging for all of us. Imagine being a young person right now and uh, struggling with grief. Well, Kelly Thomas Boyers joins us now. She's the founder of Adam's Place here in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and we are thrilled to welcome you. Hi, Kelly. Hi, y'all. Thanks for having us today. Pleasure. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is, is so important right now. Sean and I have been talking today about all the, the emotions uh, that so many people are feeling right now. In particular, uh, it can really affect young people. Mm -hmm. Right. And what we always advise is that to listen to your children, take time to have concrete uh, um, conversations. Uh, use tools that are simple that you find in your um, home, whether it's a ball to create questions and, and, and toss the ball and, and answer a question that your thumb lands on, um, journaling as a family, uh, going outside and being uh, just taking a breath and being part of nature helps lower um, blood pressure. Yeah. But grief can, uh, when children have experienced other losses in their life, when there's other community events, they have a heightened sense of feeling um, loss and lack of control. And the tools that we can use to help as a family and as a community are those communication skills. We call them a communication lifelines. And that's what we're practicing and we're modeling in our families right now. No question. And I think this really strikes the importance of what Adam's Place is. Tell us about Adam's Place, the mission, how it got started and, and how important it is uh, now. Well, thank you for asking. We've been uh, providing coping skills education and peer support group in the community for the past 10 years. Uh, we uh, have a facility where we have peer groups and our program is called Camp Cope and kids from five to 18 come in and have uh, eight sessions over 16 weeks of peer support and coping skills education and activities. The parent or caregiver uh, attends adult group and has the parenting skills class. We're finishing today our junior camp cope, which is three to four year olds. And that's our sixth session with that group. Um, we will start, we're testing some Zoom um, support groups right now. Uh, so we will be adding Zoom support groups and then we'll be starting in August with our support group system and being in more schools. Right now we're in two schools and we hope to be into hopefully 20 schools by the time school starts next fall wow. because we're help supplementing the social emotional education that this school social worker or the counselor uh, can provide. So we, I started this because I lost a son 12 years ago and um, there wasn't a, a support system established for young people. And there's pl uh, lots of research that indicates how support group is effective for children when coping with loss. So we uh, started yeah. a 501 C3. Well, good for you, Kelly. It's, it's so amazing. I'm really hard, uh, sorry rather, uh, to hear about your loss. Um, so you know this difficulty of losing somebody firsthand. Uh, who makes up Adam's Place? Um, aside from yourself, the founder, do you also uh, ask for volunteers? Yes, great question. We um, are looking for volunteers right now. We'll do a Zoom facilitator training on May the 2nd. If you go to our website, adamsplacelv.org, you can complete a, a volunteer application online and then we'll notify you and we'll get you um, hooked up for our Zoom class on May 2nd. We'll be also doing one on June 6th. So we're our volunteers are the heart and soul of Adam's Place. And the only requisite is that you like children. We're going to coach you, <laughs> teach you the facilitator um, skills, and and we'll equip you with all the tools you need to run support group. But you know, it's a, if you like children and you like spending time, then that we're we're going to teach you and coach you to be a great facilitator. That would be a very very important piece of the puzzle there. Yeah, you should probably like who you're working with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? We keep it simple, but sometimes. Uh Sometimes we've gotten people that want to add their PR skills or have other components that maybe don't want direct to uh, volunteer in a direct service with children. And that's that's OK. There's all kinds of other roles that they can fulfill. A couple of quick things. Uh, first of all, you're starting a new superhero membership program. Explain what this is. Yes, it's a way that we can. Um, uh, add more support for our program. Every dollar counts for us. For $10 a month, you become a superhero for children. It includes a t-shirt and we're adding discounts from area businesses. Um, but it's a way for us to have a larger net in our community. 
uh, to be a superhero for children. And they also get discounts to our events. We have a run on November 14th. It's our superhero run, Building Strong Hearts. And, uh, very, and we have wine tasting and various events through the year that our VIPs that are superheroes will get special uh, recognition and membership. Great. Kelly, thank you so much for sharing what you do with Adam's Place. It was great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And our doors and our, our well, our, our phones are open and, and families can connect to us through adamsplacelv.org. Awesome. Beautiful. You heard the lady. Uh, AdamsPlaceLV.org is their website. Reach out if you need a little help or you would like to volunteer. Their phone number is also right there on your screen.